Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Darts Around the Globe. I'm your host, Pim Huberts, and today we are joined by an exotic guest. He is one of the best players of the Fiji Islands. It's Salendra Singh. We are going to talk about darts on the Fiji Islands, but also about all the other countries in the Pacific Ocean. This is Salendra Singh from the Fiji Islands, and this is Darts Around the Globe. Today we are joined by someone from Fiji. He is one of the best players from his country. It's Salendra Singh. How are you doing uh, over there in Fiji? Um, fine, Mr. Pim, and it's uh, good talking to you today. Uh, well, yeah, thanks for uh, for joining us in this podcast. Uh, Fiji and you are obviously one of the lesser known uh, players and countries in darts. Um, I ask this question to almost every player I have in, on this podcast, but how did you start playing? Uh, well, thank you, Mr. Pim. Well, I was introduced uh, to darts by one of my friends. Uh, this was about uh, 10 years ago. And uh, from since then, I really had an interest in this game. Uh, and from then on, I just started playing and it has been, I just passed my 10 years now. And it has been really great playing darts. Can you tell us more about the darts scene in Fiji? Is it like in Europe where they play in the bars or is it more like sports clubs that they play in? Yeah, thank you. Uh, in Fiji, uh, darts is uh, a minor sport. Uh, it's been played uh, by more than about uh, 100 to 150 players in Fiji. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas the, uh, the population in Fiji is about uh, 850,000. So we consider darts as a minor sport, but there's a lot of interest uh, in this sport and uh, it's uh, slowly uh, growing and I think uh, in future years, the way everything is going, we might uh, have more players uh, starting to turn up for darts. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that sounds, uh, sounds great. I hope uh, we'll, we'll talk about that more uh, later on. Um, yeah. yeah, if you, you already said it before, Fiji is a small country but it has also uh, a lot of different islands where people live in um yeah. is is the only darts found on the the main island in suva uh, mostly fiji is consisted of uh, two main islands it's viti levu and vanua levu so we have a club down in uh, savu savu which is in vanua levu and uh, there's another two clubs in Suva. Uh, one is uh, the Suva Darts and the other one is the Lemi Darts. So I th uh, we have altogether three darts association in Fiji. Okay, and between those uh, two different islands, is there any uh, like connections? Do they play each other sometimes? Yeah, we used to. Uh, we used to play every year. Uh, we were invited to the group in Savu Savu, and uh, teams from Suva and Lemi they usually go there and play. But it has been uh, uh, not going for I think uh, two years now, due to uh, financial constraints. Because uh, in Fiji it's very hard to get sponsorship for darts. Mm -hmm. So. We are kindly missing that uh, at the moment, and uh, we are positive that it may might start again in the future once we have a, a sponsorship uh, for these kind of games. You you already said before there are multiple clubs on the main islands. Is there yeah. some is there some league going on, or is it mostly um, the clubs that play themselves, like the members of the clubs that play themselves? Well, the uh, Suva Darts Association, uh, which I, I am uh, the committee member, and uh, we have a yearly uh, darts league. Uh, currently, we are being sponsored by one of the uh, companies in Fiji by Fintel. Mm -hmm. So last year, they sponsored us for our league, and they are already spon sponsoring us uh, this year again but uh, due to this uh, covid-19 uh, restrictions going on uh, in the world so we are on a sports ban at the moment in our islands but yes we have uh, domestic competitions in uh, suva 
we have about uh, 10 teams uh, participating every year and uh, each team has uh, about 10 to 12 players in it and uh, we play every Monday at uh, one of the local clubs here, uh, defense club and mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have two rounds of play each year. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what we have. If we if we talk more about the crisis that's going on this moment, there's a lot of online darts going on. Um, the first time, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. The first time I I saw uh, Fiji was the participation of Masu Olisiru at the COVID yeah. uh, tournaments. Um, yeah. Is there any online uh, competition going on in Fiji too? Uh, well, I recently had, held a competition uh, about a few weeks ago, uh, which included uh, some of our Fiji citizens who are now based in USA, and uh, and with Matthew and myself and another fellow, we held a small competition, online competition, for the first time in Fiji, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm still uh, trying to... Uh, I mean, what you say, tell people about this online gaming things. Uh, people are still new because uh, before we didn't know this existed, how we can do this. But since uh, this COVID-19 outbreak, a uh, lot of things uh, coming on the net uh, regarding how you can play at home using the online uh, uh, apps. So I tried one and it was really successful and I'm also positive that in the future we'll also have more competitions like this online yeah i, I remember you because we each we chatted a little bit before this that you yeah. are maybe starting an online competition or at least talking with uh, vanuatu um is there yeah, yeah. is there anything going on with the other countries in the pacific too uh well i really don't know but uh, vanuatu since they were really in interested in playing us Actually, we were supposed to play today, but uh, uh, our Prime Minister of the Fiji Islands, uh, he has still not lifted the sports ban in Fiji, so we can't be playing, uh, gathering at one place and playing sports, even though it's a non-contact sports, but we still we have to respect our PM, and uh, maybe once everything is given uh, clear, then we might play uh, Vanuatu. Uh, using the online uh, gaming system. Okay, yeah, interesting. Um, I know that one of the uh, at least Facebook groups and darts clubs is the Friends United Darts Club. Um, yeah, yeah. I've I've seen some online competitions and and games going on over there. Can you tell us more about that uh, darts club? Well, uh, yeah, the Friends United Darts Club was. Uh, it's my club. Uh, my team's name is Friends United. So mm. I thought of just uh, uh, creating in a uh, Facebook page. Uh, since a lot of players from Fiji who have uh, gone to overseas like Australia, New Zealand, and they are still interested to know what's happening in darts in Fiji. So just uh, considering them in, uh, that in mind, I created the page and I started updating everybody to the page regarding darts in Fiji and the competition, the results and uh, whatever is happening around the world so they can just get the feel uh, that they are still in darts even though they are not in Fiji. Mm -hmm. That was my main aim for it, yeah. Yeah, if you continue talking about uh, darts in Fiji, um, are there Besides the the leagues that are going on uh, like every week, are there any major tournaments uh, in on Fiji? Yeah, we we normally every year we have a Fiji Open competition, which uh, enables people uh, residing in Fiji, the Fiji citizens, uh, taking part in it. Uh, we have it every year. Uh, it's a singles competition. Mostly we have singles competition uh, and uh, doubles. Uh, and uh, yeah, we have it every year. Um, another, another tournament that um, you've told me before about is the Fiji Games. Um, what I found interesting when you 
uh, said that is this is a tournament that is kind of played on different islands, different countries in the Pacific. Uh, yeah, can you tell yeah. more about those uh, P- Fiji games? Yeah, uh, Fiji Games is organized uh, by our sporting uh, head here in Fiji, which is Fesnok. And uh, uh, there's certain rules and criteria we have to follow while playing that game. And uh, in Fiji, we play against uh, uh, every district uh, we have in Fiji, like uh, Suva is the main district, and we have Nasinu, Lambasa, and people who are born in the district can play for their district only. So it happens every two years. Uh, and uh, the next uh, Fiji Games, I think, will be held uh, uh, next year. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember you doing um, pretty well on one of those Fiji Games too. Um, yeah, how, how was it to play on those uh, uh, tournaments? Oh, yeah, well, it's really competitive, uh, uh, keeping it in mind, uh, the rules uh, of the games. Uh, there's uh, all, everybody who plays darts, they are all, when they go on the set, they, they want to win. And uh, it's not always easy to beat your opponent, but you have to be mentally fit. And uh, uh, so... Well, when I won, I think I was mentally fit that time, and uh, uh, I con- uh, last time I couldn't win my singles game. I could just manage uh, uh, to win in a triples competition, but it was good. Yeah, it was really good. Mm-hmm. Well, I- interesting that uh, tournaments like that are even going on on uh, in small countries uh, like Fiji. Yeah. Um, you said that there are like 100, 150 darts players over there. Uh, is it difficult yeah. to see development uh, in the level of darts in such a small country? Uh, well, I can't say that because we are really trying hard uh, to make this sport more uh, competitive. And uh, we are finding sponsors now. We are managing, like Fintel came on board for the last two years. And before that, we had Vodafone sponsoring us. Uh, and uh, we have our darts uh, president. We have a da- Fiji darts president, Mrs. Naila Alfred. Uh, she's always been uh, very supportive uh, towards this uh, darts competition. And we also have our Suva darts president, Mr. Edward uh, Roxborough who is really keen on this game and uh, making sure that it happens and he looks for sponsors. So I think uh, in the future years uh, uh, we might end up having more players and better players uh, come out of uh, Fiji. Mm, Yeah, talking about the future, are there any uh, talented young players over there in Fiji? Uh, yes, we have a few players and uh, just last year we had a father and son uh, who used to play for one of the clubs in Fiji. They are now migrated uh, to America mm-hmm. and I think they are taking part there in the uh, leagues in uh, USA and they are really competitive, they are really good. Uh, they make. Uh, I recently saw that they won a doubles uh, competition uh, in USA. Wow! Let's uh, let's hope they do even better in the future and uh, keep representing uh, Fiji. Um, we yep. uh, we have seen um, players from Nauru on the DPA tour, which is the yeah. Australian tour. Um, yeah. Do you think in the future there will be players from Fiji trying it over there, or maybe in New Zealand? Yes, uh, we are really trying our level best. Uh, we are not up to that part at the moment, but uh, we are trying uh, and we are hoping that uh, we have players like from Nauru. I, I know they are a very good team and they have very good players. And they sometimes come, when they come to Fiji, we have a friendly match with them. And it re- really puts, uh, makes us... Uh, work harder and uh, yes if we are uh, competitive like this and I think uh, in the future yes we might end up uh, one or two players end up in the world uh, stage Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Yeah, l- yeah let's uh, let's uh, hope so. We uh, we don't know what the future will uh, will bring. Let's start talking about the South Pacific Darts uh, Championship. Um, this was a tournament that really surprised me. Uh, it had uh, yeah. two editions uh, now, 2018 and 2020, this year, yeah. earlier this year. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's more darts going on in the South Pacific than people know. There's darts in Nauru, Papua New Guinea, Niue, Niue Vanuatu, Solomon Islands and Tonga. They already uh, participated in the South Pacific Darts uh, Championship. Um, yeah, yeah. W- when is Fiji going to participate on the world level? Well, uh, we were invited uh, to one of the South Pacific uh, Championship in uh, which was held in New Way, uh, I think earlier in January. But uh, due to uh, the financial constraints, we had to back out from it because uh, it was really costly to go from Fiji to New Way. Uh, we had to take about eight players. So to, if we see taking ten players for the managers and everything, it would cost uh, roughly about six to eight thousand per player, Fijian dollars. Wow. So that was way too expensive for us to cater. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> that sounds uh, expensive too. Um, yeah. Talking about those countries, where are the best players? Where can the best players to be found? Uh, well, I've played uh, with a few Nauru players when they came in Fiji for a friendly match, and I think they are good. And uh, seeing uh, they are <clears throat> taking part in all the competition, I think in Australia and New Zealand. And uh, I think a few years back, Nauru team uh, played a grand game in uh, Vanua- in Vanuatu, and Mr. Phil Taylor, the darts uh, legend. He he had to play a game with the, one of the Nauru players, I think. Uh, so that was a good achievement for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I did uh, remember that story too. I was when I saw the South Pacific uh, Dart Championship, I immediately had to investigate it more, and I found yeah. just like you oh, out that nice. uh, that Phil Taylor was going to the small country of uh, Vanuatu to play some darts over there. With that uh, darts uh, championship the darts in all those countries also including fiji is more uh, connected is there some federation going on between those countries yeah we are a registered member of the south pacific games uh, thing and i think our fellow darts uh, uh, people are really trying hard to put the sports in the south pacific games which happens every four years and I think the requirement for that is to have six uh, registered uh, uh, Dutch nations to be included. So I think Fiji, Vanuatu, uh, Tonga and uh, Papua New Guinea, these are all registered. I'm not sure about Nauru but uh, we, I'm uh, quite confident uh, that in the future years uh, we might end up playing, uh, having darts in the South Pacific Games. Well, that's a, that's a great future. Maybe uh, a great start for international sport to just add darts uh, at the Olympic Games too. Um, yeah. <laughs> talking about the future um, in Pacific darts or in darts uh, on Fiji in general, where do you think yeah. you will be in, uh, let's say, five to ten years, the Fiji darts? Oh, well, uh, all I can say is that in the future years we are trying our level best uh, to promote this uh, uh, darts game as much as we can and uh, if we are lucky enough we might end up uh, our team's uh, Fiji team representing our nation uh, in the competitions abroad. So. But, uh, well, it starts from the basics. We are trying very hard with uh, our fellow Darts President, uh, Mrs. Nile Alfred, and our Super Darts President, Mr. Edward Roxburgh. And I'm uh, pretty sure that in the future years we we might uh, have a Fiji team represent uh, in the world stage. What well, at the... 
that sounds uh, awesome to me. To me, um, thank you, uh, Salina Singh, for talking to me. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Pim.